Alright everyone, back at it today with the one Sada only challenge. Finally, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, and I thank you all for being patient. Cause if you saw what I said in the update video then you'll understand why I'm a little bit late to the party. But anyways, it's time. You know the drill. One hero only, plus 030 village, because that's the standard, as with every one hero challenge I've done in the past. And I set the end round to uh, 145, because challenge editor, in case you don't know, got changed so that if you ever beat the challenge you're playing, you can't go in free play, which kind of sucks. So that's why it's set past round 100, because yes, I can already tell you right now, we are getting past round 100. That is, without a doubt, if I didn't get to round 100 with this, then there is something wrong. But yeah, essentially, this run is going to come down to uh, how lucky are my free play rounds going to be. So every round past 100 is technically random. It could be dealt with like a, a very easy hand of fortified ZMGs on 101, or it could be sent a pack of fortified DDTs and a bunch of purples, in which case I'll die, presumably. So yeah, that being said, I still don't know whether or not the first 100 rounds are going to be like a, a cakewalk. Because there are still some things to worry about, like, uh, how do you pop lead balloons? Because your main attack doesn't, so I cannot attack lead balloons without the ability. You need the Leaping Sword, which we do have, to pop leads. That's gonna be our lead popping power for like the first 13 levels, until I get a Mib. So, there is one little thinking I have to do here. It's whether or not I want to upgrade this to 030 immediately. So I get that lead pot power, or maybe I can try to rely on this ability to beat all leads. I mean, there's not a whole lot of them. You'll see how well she fares against like 28 once we get there. But yeah, I guess I'll just keep the money on hand in case I do need to spend it. Now I know I didn't want to jump to conclusions on my first video I made of Sada, like, again, 5 minutes after the update came out. I did see, I did notice during that run that she was pretty damn strong. I mean, her being able to save up that much money on her own with just an out buff and a village, kind of nuts. But from what I've seen, the general consensus is that she's really strong, but also map dependent. So obviously on like expert advanced maps, where there are multiple lanes, Sada obviously stinks because her range cannot reach multiple tracks. But if she does get like a nice curve on any track, then say goodbye to... Uh, any chance of losing, I guess. Because while she might struggle, like, expert advanced maps again, she just makes easy media maps apparently a cakewalk. I don't know how many of you guys follow this thing called Two Towers Chimps. It's basically whether or not a specific combo of Two Towers can beat Chimps mode on their own. Used to be a pretty uh, rare thing back in the day, back in my day, when there was still a lot of bad towers. Ninja Kiwi didn't quite buff them to the level they are right now. So there are very few combos that were actually able to work as a duo to beat Chimps. But I think recently, uh, especially with Sada now, uh, she's kind of broken that. Apparently, there have been over 100 confirmed combos with Sada in two Terrace Chimps. So like, you can beat Sada with a base tower, basically. Super cheap tower. Basically, you just pump all your money into Sada. Spend minimally on the second tower, and yeah, that works. There's 28, by the way. Pretty easy. The swords that are left over after the ability, they do pop leads too, which makes things, yeah, a lot easier. Because her initial leap only affects, like, the radius around her. And even if we don't get all the leads in one go, don't worry about that. Leads are slow enough, and this ability comes up fast enough so we can use it twice. So, just watch here. Use the leap. And the sword should stay, uh, apparently not. Now, I could restart here, restart the round, but I'm just gonna tank it. Because I don't think the lives matter. But yeah, back on the top of the two towers chimps. I don't know what Ninja Q is gonna do with this hero. Like, are they gonna leave her as is? Because I feel like she'd be... She's like, like an, an auto win on any easy to medium-ish difficulty game mode. That actually puts her in a pretty tough place to... To balance, I feel like. I feel like an easy way to nerf her would just be make her base cost higher. Because right now she's affordable on chimps right off the bat. So remember those days of open? Where you could start with open and then beat the first 10 rounds easily with them? 
Yeah, we're kind of getting back to that point again with Sada. I feel like that would be a very easy way to uh, tone her down a little bit. I mean, like, if she's this strong early game, I think it would make sense for her to not be, like, that cheap. Because right now, what would be the point of going Quincy over uh, Sada? Because aside from, like, range, I feel like Sada just out DPSs Quincy in every aspect. Also, uh, I might have messed up my timings, like, for the ability on 37. Back-to-back -back rounds with leads. I'm just gonna buy a mib. I really don't think it'll matter. Use leaving sword here, just in case. Leads are hard, but nah, look at that. Group leads, no problem. No problem. Let's get level 8. So at this point, we can just pump all our money into Sada. And I, I really think it should, should just be an easy road to 100. So far, zero micro. I've just left her on first. Not even targeting, like, Moab's micro on strong or anything. Just leaving it on first. I mean, they are getting to the very last part. But it's just blues. So not really a big deal. So yeah, and I will have level 13 too. Enchanted Blades do more damage. Allow Sada to pop all balloons. Oh, that was an accident. Well, I guess we'll take it. <laughs> Seven lives lost. Uh, okay, so I know the amount of lives I have. I, I messed up. And I accidentally ended the round. Regardless, uh, I think we should still make it to 100. Just, yeah, ignore what happened. All you need to know is that I done goofed. Let's use the ability here. So that will nuke out... Two ways out of three, and how about the third one? I'll just use the ability. Oh, that's not good. Targeted the wrong balloons, the red balloons. So what's the play for CC3 here? Because obviously, I feel like I do need uh, that level 10. Maybe I'll use this early then. We'll buy 13. That was one thing I didn't do. Oh, okay. Yeah, it really does matter. When you use the ability... I believe if you change from first to strong, it will target strong, but I need to try that again. Because I did not look at the patch notes. Or the signs on what she does, what she targets. Again, I have not used Sada, except for that one update video. Just a disclaimer. In case you're wondering, hey, you're not using Sada correctly. Yes, I know. I'm well aware of that. Take this as a learning experience, I guess. Alright, so I guess that was the hardest part of the run, because right now we're at level 17 side of, and I haven't had any, any trouble at all. No abilities used. Seems to just be like round 60 to 63. Was for some reason a little bit of a power spike, in terms of difficulty. You see that? Level 17 doesn't need any abilities anymore. Level 12 though was struggling bad against the Rams. Actually, while we're just chilling here, if NK is looking for a ways to balance side of, I actually feel like... I, I really like the um, synergy she has with uh, stunned balloons, slow balloons. That's one thing, again, that I haven't seen with any other hero tower. Gets more damage when balloons are stunned. Actually, I've seen it with Papa Naw. That was a nice change they added. It wasn't uh, the case when the game came out, or when the mortar got, got released. Papa Naw was, like, really bad as a base tower. But now that they gave it, like, some sort of niche, it does more damage when balloons are stunned. I feel like a lot of other things can benefit from that. Like, maybe they should balance Sada around, like, getting the stun slash support towers. Like, she'll be pretty weak if you don't have anything around her. But she gains a huge boost of damage. Because right now it's only, like, plus one damage, plus two. Like, for stun balloons, slow balloons. But if you could maybe decrease the damage when it's not slow, when it's normal balloons. And then increase it by a lot when it's stun. I feel, then I feel like... You could make a very nice identity for Sada. I think that would be a nice way to make the heroes uh, different from each other. Yeah, by all accounts, this should be an easy 90s. I'm just gonna, again, do the uh, fast forward thing. Don't mind if I do. Here come DDT rounds. I wonder if she's better against DDT rounds than group rounds. How is it looking so far? Pretty decent. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. Easy 95. So, level 20. Let's just get rid of the Srams real quickly. And it should be an easy win. Yeah. Wow. Y you realize there. So, I think the ability length depends on the length of the track. So, wow. That, that's a long time that Sada can't attack for. Which might be detrimental, actually. Because, let's say there was a mob near the exit. 
Because it looks like from there, it doesn't one-shot them all completely. There are, like, insides that leak out from it. So you do not want to use Sada when a mob is near the exit. Because the fact it takes so long to, uh... For it to reach the uh, start of logs from the uh, ending. Like, don't get me wrong, the ability is good and all, but... I feel like it's going to be another one of those, like, level 10 pat things where... You don't want to use the ability because... They'll stop attacking. They'll stop knocking back. Which is obviously a bad thing. So... What to do here for 98? It's probably the hardest round out of all 100. She's doing decent against Fortified Rams. I feel like this line of Moabs is probably a good time to use. Yeah, let's just use it. Let's just use it. Call it an easy dub right here. I wonder if I need to use save any abilities for 99. Because that could be a sneaky hard round. I'll use the ability now. Level 10. Again, give enough time so that there's, you know, leeway for uh, Sarams to uh, not leak. And that's good. This round is hard, I do have Leaping Sword. Which I guess does some damage. Yeah, DOT is not bad. I'd be pissed if I died because I didn't have the ability, but no, we're good. And round 100. Don't use the ability. I think it's better off uh, having her attack with the sword. Save level 10 for the insides. Leaping Sword went out of range. Just watch that DUT rack up. Like a couple thousand right there. That's, again, pretty good. Yup. DDTs. Hopefully we don't die here. Nope, we're good. Leaping Sword is actually a lot of mob damage. Again, I really don't want to use level 10. Just in case replay is gonna hit like a truck. And considering they're not fortified, I feel like we should have this. Nice. Round 100 completes. So now we play for pride. I believe it, Churchill and Adora got to 102, but again, it, it's random. Free play is random, I will reiterate. For those in the back. I did see a way of purples, yeah, I'm definitely going to use the level 10 here. I don't think she has enough bomb power to beat purple, so yeah. Let me just nuke that real quick. DT damage isn't shabby either. Like, this is good. That's just a good amount of damage overall, man. Uh, this round is just... Zoom Jeeves. That, that's it? I mean, I don't mind that, but... This is probably one of the easiest free play rounds I'll ever get. I also am going to use this time to just test whether or not targeting matters. Yes, it does. Good. I put it on last, and it only targeted the back Zoom G. Good to know. Just want to confirm that. So I do believe we are at the highest round now, but again, asterisk. Big asterisk. We're gonna use Leaping Sword here. Again, the damage from the swords is pretty huge. Fortunately, not quite good enough. Maybe I'll put on Strong. That might do a little better. Yeah, put the sword on Intersection, that's even better, look at that. Double Whammy. Ideally, I don't want to use Charge. Until I beat all the Fortified DDTs. And we're good, we're good. Uh, sword. That was panic. I'll use charge. Just to clear up the wave here. It's looking kind of tight. Can three charges beat four to five DDTs? Yes, they can. That's good to know. Man, that just made the round really easy. That just made the round really easy. And still dead to a SRAM. Alright, so now the Saran Wave is a problem, not the DDTs. Let's use Charge really early. Giving us time. That looks really good. Beat that. And beat that. And... Nice. Now we just gotta pray this isn't a thousand ceramics. Please, 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 please. It is a thousand ceramics, I can tell you right now. Alright, hopefully this is not a thousand Moabs, because I don't have abilities... Seriously, I don't. I don't. Luckily, it isn't. Good. That was a tough round. Luckily, I have both abilities charged this round, so... Uh, I do think I'm getting the hang of Sada, though. This is helping me gain some experience using her. And that, I don't mind. That clutch sword, by the way. Not clutch enough for this last part. Mm. I don't know about you, but this could be the end. The sword placement might be a big deal, like... Delay how long to use this level 10. 
So I have to land in a good spot. I'll say here, where my cursor is, alright? So now, see? Placement. Make it last long enough so that DTs get damaged twice. Um, now. That was pretty decent. Now, this could kill me? Nope, we're good. But again, the problem. This last go-through leaves so many balloons that there's no chance. No chance, right? Or not. No, no, that was a really good sword placement. That was really good. Now, the problem again, there's too many DDTs, and I'm dead. I'm dead? Not? Wow. How are we alive? Purples? That's gonna kill me for sure. Or not. Um... Sword! Charge! Holy crap, that was clutch. Holy crap. So the Leaving Sword does nothing, because it's so many, so many purples. But that... Yeah. I cannot begin to explain how clutch that was. 105. Alright, this part... I'm definitely gonna nuke. That's looking a little too scary for me. A little bit too scary. And the sword should clean up nice. 108. She's destroying all records. Even though, again, take it with a grain of salt, I do think getting this far is quite impressive. Because at this point, I feel I should be losing the RNG. Some form of it. I think I'm dead here. Uh, I'm gonna spam sword. Let's try using charge immediately, so we don't die to the fortified DT insides. Know what I mean? Like that. There we go. Now the fortified zoom- Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. This could be the end. Again, the sword does nothing. So I have to s delay the ch sword charge, so it gets the purples. Great. I'm not sure that's possible, given what I currently have, but we'll see. Let's try using it now. Oh, this is good. I don't know how I got that other DDT immediately, but this is a good run. We got purples too, yep, that, that's perfect. So, can I beat 108? These fortified ZoomGs are gonna have me in a pickle, man. I'm probably gonna sword charge here, or... I have to. Jeez, that was close. That was close. And, what's left? Two fortified Tyrams. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Good. Woo! Man, it's getting sweaty up here. One of these days we have to lose, right? This has been going on for far too long. Not sure you guys would believe how long I spent on this already, this run. Quite a long time. This time I'm using three sword charges really early. That seems to do a lot, yeah, a lot better, a lot better. Maximum damage on fortified DTs. And I feel like we should have this. 110 is done, my god. Anytime now. I think we're about done here. Alright. Six fortified zoom Gs. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna get Sword Charge to get every single fortified Saram, because I cannot, for the life of me, survive. Like, I'll use a Sword Charge. One doesn't even kill it. Well, barely. See that go through? It's gonna be close. Nope. How's the timing? Alright. Four Zoom Gs left. Wow, we got two of six. What an achievement. I don't think we can do this, though. I do have charge coming up, but again, it doesn't, like, insta-kill. Sure y'all are aware by now. Charge? Nah. Alright. So, I think we've been pretty generous overall with the uh, seeds this game. But I think I'm gonna cut it at 111. Case in point, Sada OP on easy maps. That's all I gotta say. Actually, I do have one more thing to say. Subscribe. That is all. See ya.